Welcome to Undead Legacy by Subquake, which is an awesome mod pack that I really loved in the past and it's been updated for Alpha 20. And I'm going to show you how to install it as a client as well as a dedicated server both locally and if you're using hosted providers such as Pink Perfect. So stay tuned for that towards the end. You might have seen a bunch of YouTubers, your favorite YouTuber, maybe Joe Woodle, maybe Guns Nerds and Steel, who does awesome Undead Legacy Let's Play playthroughs. And it's really cool to see them play and enjoy this wonderful mod pack by Subquake. And I'm not going to go detail into what's here, but you can see there's additional vehicles. You have a really cool one. You got a nice helicopter. You got oil derrick. You got uh, extractors or extractors, of course. Really nice weapons like this that, of course, is... Uh, something you want to have when you're playing a game like this because it is a really fun game that uh, really takes what's there uh, the normal vanilla game but then just expands on it and makes it so much cooler i will leave all the link in the description but if you go to the under the legacy the subquake.com you'll see an information about what's there you know your user interface has changed you have an encumbrance system instead of a slot system meaning you can carry as much that stuff as you want except that it wastes things you have a research system so you can get all these new schematics is no learn by looting here of course you have advanced and expanded crafting because you have multiple workbenches and new forges new vehicles like i showed the helicopter new guns new weapons really awesome and so much more it's a really fun mod pack and i'm sure you'll enjoy playing it it is a little bit more grindy than vanilla so it's good with a team or group of players who are just oh enjoying the time together oh that looks really cool i love this sledgehammer brings his fury i'm now going to take you through how to install the undead legacy client Undead Legacy dedicated server and Undead Legacy on a hosted server being ping perfect, which is really simple. First, you go and find the mod launcher if you don't have that. I will leave a link in the description so you can easily follow that. You scroll down to the download section, hit the link and it will pop up and ask you to save it down. You basically do that and you unzip it when it's done and it'll look something like this when you have zipped it. You double click the mod launcher and launch it. Once you're in the mod launcher, you hit install and overhaul and you scroll down on, until you find Undead Legacy. You click on it and there's some information here which is actually not entirely correct. But what it says that there are two versions. There's a stable and experimental. Stable only works on 24, not 26. There's an experimental that works on 25, but not 26. And this is actually not correct. And how do I know this? Well, of course, I follow the links and I go to the Under the Legacy website and the download itself. It actually states that the latest version is 20.5b2 for the latest stable version and 20.5b2 for the latest experimental. So it should work on 25 as of the release of this video. It's always good to go here and check just so you know which version you can use. But apparently 20.6 is not fully compatible. So it means that you need to get 25. How do you do that? You have to go to your Steam, right click on it, properties, betas, and then here you select basically 25, which I've done and I've installed that locally. And since I've done that, I can then go back into my mod launcher and hit install. And it will tell me either to download from Steam or copy from local, but since I have installed a local 20.5 version, I can hit that, start copy, and what it will do, it will basically take a copy of my vanilla install Put that in a separate folder. Then it will download the actual overhaul mod being under legacy and it will apply that, paste that on top of it to install under legacy. That means I will have vanilla that I can use as usual and I will also have under legacy in a separate install so I can switch between them at different times. I can actually run them at the same time if I really want as well. This can take quite a while because there's a few gigabyte of data that has to be installed and that's gonna just take some time. So just sit back and relax, get yourself a coffee. After a while, depending on how fast your internet is, it will have been installed and it will pop up something like this and you can simply hit play. Once it's loaded in, it should look something like this. If it doesn't, if it looks like the vanilla game, it means the install failed. It's fairly common this happens, so don't panic. What you then have to do is that you simply quit, go back into the mod launcher, delete what you installed and try again. And hopefully it'll work the second time. If it doesn't work the second time, try it third time. If that really fails, you do have to probably install it manually by going to the Under the Legacy website and grabbing everything yourself and then installing it, which is a pain. So hopefully this works fine. 
So then let's take a look at how to actually get a dedicated server. And by default, Mod Launcher installs it under 7D2D and Alpha 20 because on Alpha 20. And if you want to have a dedicated server, it's actually really simple. Well, a lot of people don't realize this that the client actually is also a server. So simply by copying it, pasting it in, getting a copy, I will have a server. Once you've copied it, actually you have to go as per any server, you have to go and configure it. If you don't know how to do that, I will leave a link in the description of how to install a regular server because the steps are generally the same. You have to go into server config, configure it there. You do have to do your port forwarding and all of that. So again, if you've never run a server, I would suggest learn how to install a vanilla server first, how to configure and work that one before you run a modded server because there are some things that are slightly different. And the legacy does have some custom fields that you can enable. Make sure you have ESC enabled false because they won't work otherwise. But there's some custom mod specific options that you can put into your server config.xml as well, such as the recipe filter, starter quest, etc. And there's information here, just scroll down and read through what it says, but there's some information of how it actually works. But it's something that you probably want to take a look at and tweak, specifically about the wandering horde and the frequency, because that's really a cool thing. Well, let's assume you have a hosted server and if you don't, I will leave a link in the description as well how to get a hosted server with Ping Perfect, along with a 10% discount code in my affiliate link. It's really simple to get that set up and this is how I run my, all my servers pretty much because it just allows me to have it running 24 seven and I don't have to worry about it because I'm not the one managing the actual hardware. So once you got to get that installed, it's really simple. There's a couple of things you have to do. First, you have to make sure that you go to beta update and type in alpha 20.5 and execute because again, just like the client, the server has to run on 20.5. Once you execute, it will basically download that version and install that on your hosted server. After this, you go to the mod manager. In the mod manager, there's a bunch of different mods. You want to go to the alpha 20 plus mod packs and scroll down to under legacy. Here we also have the experimental version, which we're not going to be using. We're going to use the stable version. And all you do is hit install and ping perfect their scripts will install it automatically for you, which is so convenient. It will take a while, obviously, just like the client, but once it's done, you're, you're good to go. You actually have an under legacy server installed on your ping perfect. Of course, as always, you do have to go into configuration files and edit your server config as well, just like you would on a local dedicated server. But then start up. Now, some of these mods under legacy is not an exception, requires quite a lot of memory and RAM, which means that you might have to upgrade your server with additional RAM. And how do you do that? Well, you do have to go to your Ping Perfect site and then go to your client area, product and services, show all the services, this all the service that I have. And then you go to your specific game service that you are looking to upgrade. And you'll get to where you can upgrade and downgrade. And then simply add on the RAM. And as it mentioned in the previous screen, it said I need at least nine gigabyte and you do get the standard six GB. So you do have to put on a little bit extra in order to run usually the overhauls and under legacy is one of them that requires extra RAM on your server. So hit that on and then just continue, accept it, pay for it, and then go back and it should be applied really quickly. Usually it's just within like five minutes something and you'll be able to just start up and run your server. Good luck, enjoy Undead Legacy by Subquake.